you've been doing a lot of work and it shows, your posture looks really good relative to a lot of people. So I'm going to exaggerate that posture you were just talking about. When this kind of thing happens, the fronts of your shoulders get uh, shortened, the backs get too long, and what happens in the back of your neck is it gets shortened too, and this gets too long, and that's going to cause the strain that you were talking about in the front of your neck. And this is going to take your, your neck vertebrae out of alignment. So the whole thing is yucky and it doesn't feel good, <laughs> but you're looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to step forward one, one step. Yeah, that's great. That looks great. Just to refine it just a little bit more, what I'll get you to do is imagine that you've got a string on the top of your head and it's pulling you up taller. Beautiful. So all of the spaces between your vertebrae, including in your neck, are getting bigger. So the, there's more room for the disc. So keep imagining that string pulling you up through the top of your head. Nice. And at the same time, keep your shoulders nice. Yeah, that's the challenge. Keep your shoulders. That's impossible. <laughs> keep your shoulders nice and relaxed. So you gotta find the the balance between elongating your spine and keeping yourself nice and relaxed here. That looks really good. Okay. It's, and, it's painful. Where is it hurting you? From here all the way across this and out to the tip of my shoulder which is what prevents me from doing it all day, right? To right. stand up properly all day. Yeah. My position is like this, mm -hmm. that work. Yeah. And then I stand up. And when you're in that position, make you do that position again. Do you feel pain when you're in the position doing like work? this? Um, not initially. After a while, it'll start to hurt. Because then I, sometimes I squat down like this yeah. to get up and down rather than like this. Yeah. And use the chair, right? Okay. Yeah, so... Um, Getting back up here causes you a little bit of pain. Yeah, because this is so tight. Yeah. It's it's like a it's like a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do a stretch later to help open that. Yeah. Meanwhile, your posture is looking really good. And uh, some people have that thing going on. You haven't got it going on too much, but the thing that happens is the back of the neck shortens and the chin tilts forward and it juts, or the chin tilts up and it juts forward. So what I'm going to get you to do, yes. Yeah, I do that lots. So what I'll get you to do is imagine that your chin is like a drawer and you're going to slide it back. Yes. Yeah. Is that, is that work for you? Um, it feels weird. It feels weird, yeah. But it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. Okay, perfect. So what you've just done by drawing your chin back like it's a drawer is you've elongated the back of your neck. And this has stayed relaxed, and that's what we're aiming for. So Bonnie was mentioning that you've got um, tightness in the front of your shoulder and across the pecs, and another chronic tension area for a lot of people. Do you get tension, tension in here? Yeah. Okay, you do. Yeah, so, and it might seem counterintuitive, but if you're getting tension in the back and the side of your neck in the trapezius area, what, it's a good idea to stretch across the collarbones in the front of the shoulder, and that's actually going to help this tension right here. So we'll get you to come over to the window frame. Yeah, and you're going to wrap your fingers around the window frame. You're going to bring your arm almost to straight, and your hand can be just about level with your shoulder. Yeah, and then you're just going to open so that you're feeling a stretch right across there. Doesn't take much. Doesn't take much. Yeah, no, that looks really good. You don't have to push it too far. Um, don't push it to the point of pain, just to the point where you feel just a little bit of a stretch. And your breath will tell you, you gasped a little bit there. If you find that your breath catches, that means you've gone too far. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so then I don't get to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, even this, looks, that looks really good. Is it? Okay. Yeah, that looks really good. It looks like a really good stretch. Good. And as long as you're breathing smoothly, you're doing it right. Good. Yeah. Stretches my bicep, too. Yeah, nice, nice. And uh, relaxing the shoulder, good, yeah. Continue to breathe smoothly. This is another one that you can do on a daily basis if you're having trouble up here or in the fronts of your shoulders or if your neck hurts, this is a stretch that will help everything in that area. And you can hold it for 30 seconds and up to a minute. While you're doing this stretch, another important thing you can keep holding on that there. Does it hurt? Sorry. Okay. Besides relaxing this shoulder, you're going to relax the back of this shoulder. Stretching the front, relaxing the back. Good job, go ahead and release. 